Trap house, trap house. Trap house, trap house. Alabama, red shirt junior quarterback. 6'2", 217 pounds. Mac Jones. After a great red shirt junior campaign and winning the national championship, Mac Jones went on to the senior bowl and showed out. A small injury kept him from playing in the game just for a precautionary reason. But he definitely showed that he can play without his star-studded list of receivers that we're accustomed to seeing him with. After looking at the tape, one thing I really loved about Mac Jones was his poise in the pocket and the way he surveys the field. Look at the way he scans right, reads that play all the way through, and comes back to the left and delivers a strike. Wide receiver got to get a little more depth on that route. But man, that's a strike right there in the red zone under pressure. He also gets it out there fast. I love the way he flips the hips on those bubbles, little flat routes, little flares. I love the way he gives the receiver a chance to run. And man, can he improvise. He's got a little scoot too. You might not notice it, but that kid can move. Being able to evade pass rushers, climb the pocket, and still keep the eyes downfield, that's what separates the boys from the men at the next level. My favorite attribute of Mac Jones is his decision making. He takes what the defense gives him. He plays within the scheme of the offense and only improvises when need be. But if you need him to bang one across the middle for you, he can get that done too. He can throw that shallow cross. He can throw that bang eight. He can throw that skinny post. The arm strength is adequate enough. He ain't going to blow you off the charts like, whoa, this guy's arm. But he can definitely push the ball up the field. And that's all you can ask for. One thing I really love about him is that he's been a winner. He knows what it takes to win. He's tasted it. He's been around top-tier programs, receiving top-tier coaching, playing against top-tier competition, top-tier edge rushers, top-tier defensive backs, top-tier defensive coordinators. That's why I take him above a lot of these other guys who were playing at smaller schools, facing lesser competition. I want a guy that's been through the fire, who's felt the flames, who's been in that kitchen. And Mac Jones, he's a top chef. Suitors such as the Saints, maybe a few other ball clubs, maybe even hopefully the Steelers get a look at him. But I think he should go ahead a lot of these other quarterbacks that people are talking about that ain't named Trevor Lawrence. And I tell you what, he might wind up being better than Trevor Lawrence when it's all said and done. Trap House. Make sure you subscribe for more content. You'll always be remembered. Roll Tide.